Ralph is walking his exceptionally well-behaved dog, Cisco, through town one morning when he remembers he needs to grab a few groceries from the local store. He doesn't think this should be an issue, as Cisco has been in stores before and never caused a problem. Upon entering the store, a manager who is stocking a display notices Cisco and quickly approaches the pair. He frowns and points to the no pets allowed sign that is posted at the entrance. Dogs always cause trouble in my store, he explains. Ralph doesn't want to cause a scene, so he dejectedly takes Cisco back outside and ties his leash to a nearby post. Cisco doesn't seem happy about this either, as he is always at Ralph's side. As Ralph shops for his items, he's startled by the sounds of raucous laughter, high-pitched screaming, and what sounds like dozens of small feet stampeding through the store's aisles. A group of unsupervised children has entered on a mission to buy snacks, and the calm atmosphere of the store has quickly turned to chaos. Ralph can't hear himself think. Surely the manager won't allow this. But he's dismayed to see the manager completely unfazed by the situation. When Ralph complains and asks for something to be done, the manager simply shrugs and says, What do you want me to do? Kids are kids. It's still better than having dogs in the store. The manager's lack of concern over the situation combined with his treatment of Cisco is enough for Ralph to decide to take his business elsewhere. As he's leaving the store, Ralph looks around and sees that Cisco is not the only depressed pet who has been relegated to a hitching post. He decides something must be done to right this wrong and begins a campaign to unite other dog owners around town to join his fight to bring their pets into local businesses. The next morning, the store's manager finds a group of peaceful protesters gathered on the sidewalk in front of the store, voicing their support for their beloved pets and demonstrating the potential lost businesses faced by not adapting to more inclusive policies. The manager is shocked and admittedly moved by this heartwarming display of unity among the dog owners. He never considered the strong bond that pet owners have with their companion animals and that his policy might negatively affect his business. He realizes that it might be time for him to start reconsidering allowing pets inside his store before a more pet-friendly competitor starts siphoning away his customers.